boys and girls. I'm so happy to be reading with you today. This book is going to be a fairy tale. And if you can remember what we talked about fairy tales, fairy tales are those books that have a really magical and happy ending. And a lot of times it's about animals who act like real people. But it always is, it's like a fairy tale and magical and has a happy ending. So this book that we're gonna be reading that is a fairy tale is called The Little Red Hen. Okay, who remembers what a fairy tale usually starts off with? Do you remember the words? Once upon a time. A lot of time our fairy tales, they'll always start with once upon a time. So once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse, a little red hen, all live together in a cozy little house. <laughs> the cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. <laughs> and look, he's dreaming of sardines. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. What is he dreaming of? <gasps> Bones. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireplace. <gasps> what could she be dreaming of? <gasps> Cheese! So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floors and washed the windows and mended the clothes. Wow. That little red hen had to do an awful lot of work where everybody else was being lazy and taking naps. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. And not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. Wow, she's doing a lot of work now to water them every day, too. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut the wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now, who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? And you guessed it, not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. And not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. And not I, said the mouse being awfully lazy. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered the sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took the milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, when the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into the shiny pan and put it in the oven. Mmm, looks yummy.
soon a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. <gasps> Who do you think is smelling that good smell? The cat got off the south couch and strolled into the kitchen. Now he wants to help out. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red, red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, said the cat. I will, said the dog. I will, cried the mouse. So now they want to help the little red hen. Mm. But the little red hen said, All by myself, I planted the wheat. I tended to the wheat. I cut the wheat. I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour all by myself. I gathered the sticks. I built the fire. I mixed the cake. And all by myself, I am going to eat it. And so she did to the very last crumb. Look at their faces as she's eating the cake. After that, whenever there was And so she did, to the very last crumb. <gasps> Look at their faces as the hen eats all the cake. Now, do you think that's fair that the hen didn't let the other friends have the cake? But remember, she tried to ask them to help her and asked and asked, and they all said no. So what do you think? Do you think it was right that she didn't let them have a bite? Or do you think she should have been nice and just let them have a bite, even though they didn't help her? Well, after that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Whew. I think the little red hen taught them a very good lesson. That if they wanted to, you know, enjoy, you know, something that she made, that, you know, they need to help out some. And to be friends with somebody, you need to help out. Not just one person doing all the work. To be a team, you know, it's nice to help each other out. One may do something and you help the other person out. And you get rewarded by sharing whatever y'all worked with. Alrighty, boys and girls, thank you so much for reading with me today, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.